Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty. So, th the intro was a warm up and small mash mop pit, mosh pit. That's easy for me to say. This is a free for all with the MCPR 300, an OG sniper that was one of the kings of Modern Warfare 2. Here's the configuration I used. The only thing I changed up from what you're seeing here in this free-for-all was that I took off the Int Last Series Optic. Yes, it helps a lot with ADS speed, but that laser showed people where I was. So here's the damage. Headshots, 480, 250 upper torso, 155 lower torso. It's a beast. It's a beast. And then the ranges are awesome. 53.3 meters for the effective damage range. And the minimum is 80 meters and a great bullet, bullet velocity at 822 meters per second. The mobility is good. The ADS, a bit slow at 500 milliseconds, but it doesn't stop old Grandpa Newbie. And it won't stop you either. And sometimes you just got to beat people about the head and shoulders to get the job done. So I started out behind on this one and worked my way back up to even and then a couple of shots ahead. See the big the big skin there they're easier for me as a sniper when I well I'm not a sniper but they're easier for me when I use a sniper to aim at and to hit. Hitbox is the same but especially that big clown. I haven't seen that one lately. So I'm up by 25. There's four seconds left. It's going to take home the win, but it's not a Snickers win. It's not so satisfying because we didn't get 30 kills. So we drop into Shoot House, one of my favorite all-time maps. Did a little embarrassing miss and get gacked off the bell. So I managed to work myself behind by a few kills. Love people walking away from me. And we won't talk about this one. The thing I like about snipers, the one-shot snipers, the beasts like the MCPR, is that you can take your time. You can either quick scope or you can just aim down sight when, and... oh. Sometimes you got to pull out a pistol to show the enemy that you really care about them. Show them some love with the Renetti. You can aim down sight, take your time. Somebody could be doing damage on you, and you'll take them out in one shot. As long as you get above that belly button. And that one was barely above the belly button. Go out, my child. My drone child, and do some work. See there? Be taking damage, pull the trigger, the person's respawning. Ooh, I don't know how I missed that one. That one looked like it was right on them, kind of. So we got a remote turret. Worked our way back up to a tie game. I'm usually pretty much a buffoon with these turrets, but we'll put it down and give them some company with that trophy so that it doesn't get lonely. And there we get the VTOL. We're up by one. VTOL on an open map like Shoot House is just about a GG situation. So I need to check the turret to make sure that nobody's messing with it. Keep coming back and checking it. There's the VTOL doing some work, doing a lot of work. This guy's annoying the pilot. We can't have a pilot being annoyed while he's doing work. Oh, sliding ice face got me. Got me. So the the weapon is smooth. It's better probably in your hands than it is in mine. Like I said, I'm not a sniper. But it's solid. The ADS is reasonable enough. If, like I said, if you're quick scoping. I think you should try it. Try the configuration. In an artist's hands, it would be awesome. Please like and subscribe. Helps me. Helps the family. Final kill is a cheese kill with a proximity mine. Cheers and peace.